Okay guys, Creator Mom, it's raining, so that might be a nice um, sound to have in the background, plus the birds. So I got my notes here, and I was thinking, I just want to precursor this by saying that I make these videos for, um, for relatability, uh, you know, pretty much that's it. <laughs> um, because I know when I watch videos, it's cool to watch somebody and to be able to relate to them and say, oh, yeah, yeah, like, totally. Anyways, so, <clears throat> um, what I was thinking today was that how when you grow up with a narcissistic parent, their main message to you, in my opinion, is you are not good enough. That is the theme. That is just the main message. All in all, bottom line, you are simply not good enough. And maybe one day if you become what I think you should be, then you might be. <laughs> maybe you might be worthy. But um, so yeah, you're not good enough. And I think that when we have this underlying message playing in the background, like we, um, we, we expect... Uh, we expect for other people to feel like we're not good enough. Um, <clears throat> we expect to really not be appreciated for who we are and what we do. Um, and in fact, even more so, not only does who you are not is, is not respected by the narcissist, but it is um, put down even more so by the narcissistic parent. You are never good enough. There's other people out there that are better than you is the message like don't you want to be like that person or like they'll secretly be like um oh um so and so is doing this with their life and they just got married and this and that and you feel the underlying message to what they're saying because guys there is um you feel you can feel people's intention you can't lie like those messages those subliminal messages that we do they don't you know they don't lie it's like you know what they're saying they're not just talking about somebody who just a cousin who has their own business they're not talking about somebody who just got married and and is having a, a su such a successful life what they're saying is look at you don't you want to be like this person why aren't you like them i wish i had a daughter who was successful i wish i had a daughter who was running her own business and married to a great guy and having great kids and doing things the right way or whatever you know what I mean whatever it is they think in their fucking demented minds um <clears throat> so you you you're catching their drift you know what the fuck they're putting down and you're not picking it up you know you're just like at this point you're on to their shit so um and that can carry on to other into other relationships, just not expecting anyone to really appreciate you, not feeling worthy of anything. All right. So, um, yeah, in the narcissistic parent's mind, everyone else is better than you. And I think that just stems from their own self, like their own worthlessness, their own feeling like, why do I have to have a daughter like this? Why can't I have a daughter like that? Um, they compare themselves to others. They want what other people have. They feel inferior to others. And therefore, they put that inferiority onto you. Um, you are ma you are even causing them to feel inferior because you're not what you, you don't live up to what they think is better. What's outside. You're just an extension of their own worthlessness. Their own inferiority. Of not feeling good about themselves and about their lives. Everyone else's life is better than theirs. Uh, why can't you be like so-and-so's daughter, you know? That literally, this is, that's, I mean, I and I know people can experience different things with narcissistic parents. It is, it's like a spectrum, as they say. Um, so, yeah. I remember being told um, that my mother told an aunt of mine who has she has three daughters um anyways my mother told this aunt oh um i think we i think our daughters got mixed up like i should have had your daughter and you should have had mine because you know sheena's sloppy as fuck 
and she's messy and your daughter's organized and she knows how to decorate and she cares about cleaning a lot and all this stuff you know and I thought wow you know families could laugh at stuff like that <clears throat> when you think about it that's really not funny because when I think about my kids dude I wouldn't fucking trade my kids for anybody else's fucking kid seriously seriously would fucking never they are my kids I am so proud of them like they are they are awesome beings you know um I'm not saying they're more awesome than anybody else's but that's how I feel about my kids because they're mine you know what I mean like I ain't trying to trade my kid for nobody else's because I feel because I love myself <laughs> you know I love myself I love my kids 